So what, what are you doing, Bob? Yeah. Oh, introduce yourself. Yeah. Oh, yes. My name is Bob Rostoicher. And I'm a, been a knife maker for a blacksmith for 17 plus years, probably. Tough to think back that far. Uh, member of the ABS, Journeyman, Journeyman Smith, stopping in for a visit and uh, having some fun. What, what are you doing, Bob? What am I doing? I, I am uh, packing in this uh, compound around strips of wrought iron and we are going to make some blister steel. Yeah. What, what's blister steel, Bob? Blister steel. Blister steel is the old way to make a good quality steel. It has some carbon in it, which will harden and temper out of wrought iron. It's an old process, and that's one of my fortes, is, uh, is historical reproduction. And uh, Rick was kind enough to offer to come to his shop and play a bit. So I'm experiencing the process. So what, what happens when you weld up a stack of blister steel? Uh, what do you get? You get shear steel. Shear steel? Shear steel. You mean the stuff that the famous Sheffield knives were made out of? Exactly. <gasps> I know. It's amazing. Cool. I didn't know people did this anymore. <laughs> few, few people do. It's one of those lost arts, like so much of blacksmithing and, and, and yet knife it, making. And it, yet it still exists in Illinois and Wisconsin. That's right. That's right. Two, uh, one, two of the hubs <laughs> of this type of, uh, of experimentation and knife making. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you different that the hubs are elsewhere. <laughs> it's Wisconsin and Illinois. That's it. <laughs> That's, I'm probably going to get letters for I'm, that one. I'm going to get lots of emails over there. <laughs> well, welded an end on it. Now we're going to put it into the forge and let this cook. in there for a while. We're taking it out. There it comes. Nice and hot. We're going to put it outside and uh, let it cool. Pull something out here. Take a look. Oh, it looks like we got we got a lot of got some blisters here. This is the blister steel. Here's what we're seeing. All these little these little bumps, these little blisters. This is our blister steel. Carburized wrought iron. Here we've got some nice ones here. All this, this little imperfections on the surface here what we're what we're after we have steel so before before yeah. and after right before wrought iron let's get a good one here wrought iron Ooh. blister steel so do you, do you think people should wonder why they call it blister steel? Not after seeing this, you shouldn't wonder why it's blister steel. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, we're gonna now spark the two pieces. We've got the wrought iron and we've got the blister steel. And what we're looking for is the, the really sparkly sparks coming off the blister steel. You'll get some sparks off of both, but it's the ones that do the little starburst that shows you that you've got carbon. So we're going to fire up now and we're going to do that.
first the wrought iron. Okay, so we got the little tongues coming out there, the sparks, but uh, nothing really, really that start like the little starbursts that come off. Now the blister seal. There they are. And it's those little sparkles that tell us that we've got carbon. Can you do one to one comparison? Okay. Rod iron. Blister seal. Rod iron. Blister steel. We have steel. What you see here is a lovely pile of blister steel. We're going to process this in part two of this series into sheer steel. So please look at the next video and see that wonderful organic surface on that. I really like the look of blister steel.